This is what my Japanese wife typically eats in a day. So many of you ask what Maiko, my Japanese wife, typically eats in a day. So here we are in this video. But like always before I start, if you want to see what I'm doing on the daily, check out my Instagram account. If you guys want to help support the channel, check out the Japan, the Tokyo merch. And if you guys have any questions about Japan or Japan travels, check out my Discord community. That said, I'm going to be doing something just a little bit different in this video compared to my other videos. And in order for me to do that, we're going to have to turn down the sound just a little bit. That said, I think Maiko should be getting ready for breakfast right now. So here she is, my Japanese wife, Maiko, and mother of my two-year-old son. And this is what she normally eats when she's at home cooking for herself. A very typical Japanese breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And now she makes the magoyaki, a Japanese rolled egg omelet typically eaten for breakfast. The seasonings vary depending on the area of Japan, usually sweeter in the east and a stronger dashi with a salty appeal in the west. My wife is from Aichi which is located in the middle, so she prefers to eat it sweet with a strong dashi flavor. Oh, and she's making it just for herself, so she only needs to use one egg. Okay. And she likes to clean up as she cooks. Maybe this is common around the world. And this is their breakfast. A bowl of rice, natto, tamagoyaki, yakinori seaweed, and yogurt with blueberry and granola. This is natto, fermented soybeans. It has a uniquely strong scent and flavor, along with a gooey texture, which for many Japanese is a part of their everyday meal. There are many ways to eat natto, like eating it with raw egg or mayonnaise. My wife, though, usually prefers to mix it with one of her many Japanese condiment tubes. Today, she's going with a grated ginger. Itadakimasu. Now it's lunchtime. To maximize her work efficiency these days, she usually orders Uber Eats and eats something really fast. I guess today though, she's decided to make something quick at home to save on money. This is her favorite yakisoba, Maruchan. She doesn't buy anything else but this brand. Yakisoba itself in Japan is considered a lighter meal and is often found at festivals in food trucks or stalls. And to top it off, she adds a soft cooked sunny side up egg. This entire meal costs less than $1.50 to make. In Japan, eggs are often eaten raw as Japanese enjoy the taste and texture of the raw yolk like this. My wife also drinks black apple vinegar once a day for her health. She hates the taste though.
So before we continue on, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor for this video, Squarespace. If y'all don't already know, Squarespace is the number one way to build your online presence. In fact, I use Squarespace for my website, Tokyo Zebra. Here are just some of the reasons why I love using Squarespace so much. Whether you're starting your passion project or building a business, Squarespace has all the tools to get it done while also looking ultra sleek and professional at the same time. They support numerous portfolios and gallery designs which you can customize and even password protect so the right people see your work. Use its fully integrated blogging tools and commenting features such as threaded comments, replies, and likes to help engage your community. And my personal favorite, built-in analytics to see how your visits, unique visitors, and page views trend over time. So there you go. Go to squarespace.com today for your free trial. When you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Paolo from Tokyo and get 10% off your first domain or website. Finally, dinner time. First, my wife makes miso soup. She usually uses a pre-made dashi pack, which many Japanese use to minimize their prep time. You can use basically any ingredients to make miso soup in order to balance it out with the day's menu. And today, my wife chooses to add haksai and namiko mushrooms. Namiko has a natural gelatin coating on the surface, and by adding it to the soup, it gives it a slimy texture, again loved by many Japanese. Oh, that's a trick my wife uses to preserve the miso. The wrap prevents miso from touching the air and avoids oxidation. Many Japanese kitchens come equipped with a small fish grill since grilled fish is a very popular home dish. But nowadays, the way it's used has evolved a bit and can be used to grill different things like spare ribs and vegetables. Now, my wife's making onigiri, a Japanese rice bowl. She adds several ingredients so she can get as much nutrition as possible into one bowl of onigiri. Oh, she's using my son's baby cheese. For her skin, she drinks lipo C, usually mixed with sparkling water. Apparently, Japanese women take into consideration their skin when choosing what they eat and drink. And this is her dinner, a rice ball with shiso, kombu, and cream cheese. A grilled salmon flavored with koji malt, miso soup with haksai and namiko, kimchi, and mozuku seaweed. Okay, so there you go. That's what my Japanese wife typically eats in a day, especially when she's out with me or my son Wolfie. So if you guys like this video, then help me out and hit that like button. If you guys wanna see more videos like this or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.